Hi folks, this is AppShocker, a channel focusing on how to program iOS and Android apps. Today, we will talk about how to program your iOS apps with Swift. Yeah, you might have seen the WWDC keynote a couple of days ago. There, they announced that Apple introduces a new programming language. Yes, you heard that correctly. And this new one is called Swift. I don't know whether you are an old school Objective-C developer or if you're absolutely new to this language or iOS Pro in general, but this video will help you either one of you. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is to download Xcode. So the thing that you see right now here in front of you is Xcode. If you don't know it, Xcode is the software development kit. So the program that you need to have in order to program iOS apps. So when you try to create a new project, this is the window here you see in front of you that pops up. So the first things you see here might be confusing if you're not familiar with that, but don't worry, you will um, know them or you will get to know them later on. Right now, we're not going to talk about them. So in order to learn the basics of how to deal uh, with iOS apps uh, is to uh, just use a very basic, simple template. So by template, I mean all these icons here, you see, represent templates you can choose in order to create your own iOS apps. For this video, we're going to choose a single view application because this is the very, it's, a, it's a very basic one. So I just uh, select it and click on next. Okay, the next window is also very important. First of all, here you see some names like product name, organization name and so on. These um, names are very important. So right now I'm not going to talk about them in detail because actually if you want to uh, create an, uh, your own app and if you want to publish them to the App Store, later on you're going to have to spend some time on thinking about how to call your app, what might be your organization name and so on and so forth. Right now um, I will just use a very um, random name um, because this is just a tutorial, so we're not going to think about how we're going to call our our app um, in detail because we're not going to uh, upload this um, app anyway. So as a result, I'm going to call this app here my first cool app with Swift. This is very important here. And what is also very important is that the default setting is uh, regarding language is Swift and we're going to create an iOS uh, app for iPhone. Okay, just leave everything else and just click on next. Yeah, create your um, your app in a folder where you want to where you create your uh, iOS apps in general. This is what I did uh, what I had done previously, so Bear in mind, if you're a beginner, you need to, to create a folder on your Mac in order to manage your different iOS apps. Good, so the very first thing you see here is the are the divisions of the um, iOS SDK. Um, I'm going to talk about them very, very briefly. Uh, Actually, what I'm going to talk about is not sufficient in the long run, but it's sufficient for a beginner. So very quickly, uh, what you need to know is that first, you have different divisions here, as you can see, like here's the, the top bar. Uh, on the left hand side, you see uh, this division here. So it's also important to make sure that you uh, get the terminology right. So you, ha you have to know some terms regarding uh, Xcode in order to make sure that uh, if you talk to somebody else about the, some problem that that you both uh, have a common denominator uh, in order to understand each other. So in this case, for instance, like the left hand side here um, is called the navigator area. So uh, as the name already indicates that you, here you can navigate through your whole app, uh, the different files and all the assets you have to include uh, in the long run. So as you can see, for instance, if you go uh, with your mouse to this icon here, here it says show the project navigator. So if you're not completely sure what each icon stands for, if you go to if you go over them with your mouse, then um, Xcode also already indicates what kind of uh, functionality is behind this icon. 
so as you can see you can you you can also um, look for issues you can look for files this is the file the find navigator and so on and so forth it's actually a very important area here you're gonna t you're gonna use it on a regular basis so um, please remember that this is called the navigator area so here in the middle you have something what is called the editor area so right now um, if you go for instance like to this app delegate swift file you can see the whole code we're going to talk about the code in, in detail in another tutorial um, but just to make sure that you understand this is called the editor area and on the right hand side you have something which is called the utility area so this is also very important for instance if you uh, need to add uh, some UI elements like like a, a label, a, a text field, a button and so on and so forth you're gonna find that here in this area okay and yeah so this is basically the most important thing you need to know about Xcode um, for instance what is also very important is that if you try to um, compile your first app you're gonna do it by clicking on on the run button here later on and then an, a simulator pops up and then you can see your app but right now we're not gonna do that so um, what else you need to know about Xcode um, what is also pretty important is the structure here let's just talk about the navigator area and what each and uh, each element stands for first of all if you click on my first cool app Swift here you see that you have different text fields here and with different meanings behind them so as I told you previously here is something which is called the bundle identifier so this is a very important um, um, element uh, for iOS program why because the bundle identifier is practically the idea of your app so you have to make sure that you choose a correct a bundle identifier for your own use case or in general because this ID here this bundle identifier is used by Apple in order to make sure that um, Apple can identify your app via this bundle identifier um, it is also used in order to make sure that your future users can uh, download updates for this app so if this app, um, bundle identifier is not the one uh, for a future update of your app then there's a mismatch and then you cannot uh, upload your app to the App Store in order to provide an update for your users so please be sure that you do this correctly as you can see you can also uh, select the version uh, number of your uh, app and you can also use a build uh, version number an internal build version number uh, for your app and so on and you can also um, select a deployment target so the deployment target is also very important because here you also set uh, what is actually the iOS target you, you develop your iOS for uh, your iOS app for so for instance if you uh, click on it you see that there are different um, deployment targets uh, in your case you might not see all of them because you might have uh, freshly downloaded uh, Xcode but in my case because I have been uh, working on iOS development for a, for a very long time I have different versions on, on uh, my Mac in order to uh, make sure that I can also develop apps for, for older iOS versions so but in general this is very important to make sure that if you develop an iOS app you develop it for a certain version of, of iOS and uh, yeah so depending on, on your uh, um, needs and 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 what what your client wants you need to make sure that you set the, the correct deployment target and here you can also choose between whether you want to develop an iOS app for iPhone or iPad or whether it should be universal which means that you develop an app for e for both um, a device uh, devices uh, for iPhone and iPad so and all the other things here like this main interface is also very important the main interface is um, this little file here it's called the main storyboard the storyboard here is practically um, the place where you control ad and administer your UI so where what the user actually sees uh, in the end when you're done developing your iOS app we're going to talk about that in future uh, tutorials uh, in more detail 
Furthermore, you can also uh, select whether you want to um, uh, choose a specific device orientation. So, for instance, uh, you might uh, create an iOS app that only targets or that only supports uh, a portrait mode or an upside down mode, landscape left or landscape right mode. So, depending on what you really want to create, uh, you can also select all of those device orientations or you can also deselect some. So, this is also a very important place uh, regarding settings. And here, for instance, a status bar style. So, um, if you want to, if you want to uh, know more about the status bar style, uh, in a future tutorial we're going to talk about them. What what are the effects? What what it looks like, and so on and so forth. Um, and also the other settings here um, will be discussed in future tutorials because um, you, we could talk about each and every detail. Uh, here for for hours and this is way too much for this tutorial. Let's just go to the other uh, sections here. Uh, here you can see that uh, you also have all um, a uh, an area of different possibilities in order to, to enhance your iOS app. For instance, if your iOS app, iOS app should support iCloud or a Game Center or a Passbook or in-app purchase and so on and so forth. So. Um, if you're interested in those uh, functionalities, you can check them out here. You can also read about them, but not for this basic tutorial. So, uh, the info section here is also very important if you um, want to compile your app. And here you can also basically store all the major information for your app. For instance, if you uh, like uh, what kind of version uh, number is used, uh, what kind of uh, iOS version is your app targeting, and so on and so forth. This is more the technical side of that. We're not going to talk about it today. And also the build settings, build phases, and build routes are all very important um, aspects of uh, iOS development. But for a beginner, they're not important for you now. Let's just go to the folder, my first uh, cool apps uh, with Swift. So what is now very important for you is to, to get a glimpse on how to uh, write iOS apps in general. So first of all, you see here that uh, you have a, a file called App Delegate. So the App Delegate is a very important file. Back in the good old days, it was uh, they, there were two files. There was an AppDelegate.h and an AppDelegate.m file, and both represented one class. And what this class actually does is, it is the starting point for any iOS app, which means that if you launch an app, uh, the operating system needs to know what should be done first with your app. So. Um, this class makes sure that your app uh, will be will be la launched, and and if it is launched, are there any other things that have to taken care of uh, during that process, and so on and so forth. Um, you will learn more about that in future tutorials as well. But bear in mind, this um, class here is a very important one. Then the next file here, it's called the view controller. So, in general, view controllers are very important for iOS in general. Uh, this is a specific class that um, takes care of views of your app. So, for instance, like the rectangular area of, of any iOS device and how they interact with different UI elements and how they um, also tackle event-based mechanisms and so on and so forth. It's a very complex class. It's it's one of the uh, it's like the second most important one um, if you develop iOS apps and you're going to see them on a regular basis. So uh, please be sure that you know what uh, a view controller is, and we're going to talk about them later too. And the third most important file here is like the actual file that stores all the UI elements. So please bear in mind that iOS development is heavily dependent on a uh, design pattern which is called MVC, Model View Controller. You can look that term up on, on Google or some other uh, platform or to in instruct yourself more on this uh, pattern. Um, this is just, it's basically set a a, a model how to develop your own iOS apps and how to structure them. For instance, you want to um, uh, provide uh, basic mechanisms like calculations in one area, which in this case is like the models so doing all the brain work, let's put it this way. And there's another area where you just uh, handle the, the events 
um, the vent mechanisms and also just the view mechanisms so the the ui elements like in this case it's like the model uh, uh pardon uh it's the other way around the model uh, is the brain work um the view is the place where you handle um all the ui elements and and the controller area is is, is where you um combine the two previous mentioned uh, previously mentioned areas together in order to make sure that they communicate and they also provide all the information they need from each other in order to um, make sure that, you, that your iOS app works uh, on as a whole. Okay, then here you also have another uh, section which, you call, which is called um, Images X Cassettes. So this is all practically the place where you um, handle your app icons and launch images. And you also have supporting files. Uh, you have an InfoPlist file. This is like the file that stores all the basic information about your app. We're not going to touch on that today. And these are basically the most important ones. These files here are not important to you now. Okay, so basically you are now familiar with how Xcode works on a very, very basic uh, level. And in the next tutorial, we will now actually uh, program um, our first cool app with Swift. So stay tuned. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to Facebook, to uh, this channel here, to AppShocker. Don't forget that. Right, right beneath you have the possibilities to, to click on each section and also on Twitter. And don't forget to watch my second tutorial. Stay tuned.